Here it is, guys, the Ciche Silent. I'm really that naive to canister filters. He asked, what did I do wrong that caused the hair algae bloom? back. How's it going guys? Today we'll do water change Wednesday and I wanted to do a review on the Ciche return pump that I have in the 20 gallon here. It's been a great pump for me over the years and I thought I'd do a little bit of a review on it. I have some good questions today we'll get to and we'll get right into it now. paraphrasing now Jorge asked about last video I mentioned that things can be going great in your tanks and then suddenly something goes wrong and then I had brought up hair algae in my five gallon and he asked what did I do wrong that caused the hair algae bloom my answer to that Jorge is that hair algae doesn't happen overnight it takes some time so obviously you're doing something wrong each day each week maybe even a month or so or more so what I've noticed is initially I started seeing small tufts of hair algae in just a few spots so I went in and took that out and I continued my feeding regime as I did from the beginning of the tank and I had also mentioned to you guys that I really feed that tank a lot because I like healthy fish and I have a couple flower rock anemones in there that I like to feed meaty foods. So what happened with that is, if you recall a few videos back, I tested for phosphate. Wow, okay, 0 0.35. And that, in my opinion, is probably the cause of the hair algae cropping up and getting a little bit out of control. I was feeding bio pellets, for the health of the fish and I was also feeding a mixed uh, reef mixture and it was probably just too much I was probably overfeeding so what I'm gonna do now is cut back on the amount I feed and see if that'll work and I also vacuumed underneath the rock structure in the tank I did a 75% water change I'll probably continue to do larger water changes and I also went in there with the brush and brushed off as much as I could and you'll see that by brushing it off the hermits really are starting to take control and remove a lot of the hair algae. Here it is guys the Ciche Silent the 1.5 and if I can see this right 358 US gallons Per hour also I don't take that into consideration to be honest guys what I do is I hook it up I put it in the tank and I just see what kind of flow it produces I don't want to mispronounce this name wrong it's T-A-Z-C-C-L anyway he says he has a leather coral in the sand growing in the sand bed and he asked should he attach that should he glue that to a rock instead of allowing it to grow that way. He also asked what is the best way to mount it. And I showed that a couple videos ago. If you have a leather frag, the best way I've found to mount that to rock is put it in a small cup with some small pieces of rock rubble. And within about a week, it'll attach to at least one piece. And then at that point, you can take it out and then super glue that to anywhere you want on the larger rock structure. That's what I would do. I believe this one has a control, but what I found is over time, they, the control gets caught and stiff and then you got to match it. So what I try to do is I find, I try to find the pump maximum so it can run full max the whole time rather than dial it back. 
All right, so let's look inside. Gaylene asks if I have any experience with canister filters, in particular, a whale canister filter. I don't know if this is a joke. I'm really that naive to canister filters. I've never used one with a marine tank. Uh, and I explained that to her, that uh, you really don't need a canister filter for a marine tank. You use the biological filtration from the rock itself, and you can use a protein skimmer to skim some of the organics out. And then she also mentioned about a hang-on, and that I've heard of. Some people use a hang-off-the-back uh, filter to circulate the water through and create like an overflow effect. I've just never really done that before, so I can't respond to that. I've seen it done before with some success and some not. So uh, sorry, can't be more specific and answer that question, but I would recommend the skimmer and some form of an overflow filtering rather than a canister filter. Let's see what this thing looks like here. All right, this is pretty bare bones, this pump. What I like about it is it's, very, it's what it says. It's really quiet. Uh, this is just your adapters, and they're identical. So basically it comes with an extra and the rubber feet for the bottom. I actually keep mine hanging, believe it or not, guys. I've noticed that when I rest any return pump, in a tight area, especially this, it'll just barely fit inside the return compartment on the water box 20. When I put it down on the bottom of the aquarium, it vibrates. So what I do is my return pump hose is only long enough to allow it to dangle in there. So here's the pump. You can see it's decent size, it's not too, too big, it just barely fits inside. This comes off, and this is the speed control that I told you about. See this? I'm just not a big fan of this. See, as you close it, it allows less water to co go through, and you open it all the way. I always have them opened all the way up. It's a solid pump and I've had mine in there for probably on and off. I rotate every six months. I'll take the one out, soak it in vinegar, and then I'll put the new one in. Beginner's vinegar is acidic, so if you wanna get rid of calcium on anything, old heaters, any of your old stuff, or stuff that's building up calcium on it, you just submerge this in white vinegar, super cheap at the supermarket, and you just soak it in there for 24 hours and all the calcium will dissolve off. I do that on all my pumps. So there it is. Company is Cice, it's an Italian company and it's the Synchro Silent. And there it is, five year guarantee guys. Done. All right guys, that does it for this one. Thank you to the new subscribers. Thanks for your questions and comments and your compliments on the video. I really appreciate that. It keeps me going. And have a great day. And I'll see you Sunday. Hopefully. Take care now. Hey guys. It's that time again. So welcome back. What am I supposed to fucking say? All right, I think that does it for the Q&A today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, I think that about does it for the Q&A today. Um, 